I hear something. I have no light. Here he is. Here he comes. You see him over on the hill there? He's a goblin. Let's go kill that goblin. Hi guys and welcome to Card Life. Card Life is a survival cardboard game. It is a game all about or all made of cardboard. What could be more fun than that, I ask? But anyways, I, I just got this game. I have been kind of wrestling about getting it over the past few days. It came out October 9th, and this is now October 29th by the time I'm recording this video. I don't know when it's gonna go up at some point, probably in November. But anyways, by the end of October, I finally got it. I'd seen some on Twitter about it. I've read some of the reviews. The reviews are very mixed on Steam. Um, I did not watch any YouTube videos. Sometimes I will do that if I'm mixed about getting a game. I will watch a YouTube video on it and then that kind of tells me whether or not I should get it or not or wanted to get it or not. But with this, I kind of wanted to go into it a little bit blind and just see for myself. We're going to play this. So I did play a little bit, maybe 20 minutes worth. Um, I created the uh, just a single player games, kind of what I do with these types of games, to see if I would like it. It is very interesting. I don't really know a whole lot about it beyond that. Okay, so this is how you create your character. You can fill, connect the dots. You can personalize this, like make it yourself whatever you want, a big blockhead if you want, or a potato like I would probably make. Uh, but you can, you can uh, I'm just gonna create. You can just hit create and it'll create your character. But uh, let's check this game out. We're just gonna hop in. All right, so you start out like this. Nothing in your hot bar. You have, you notice there's like a little uh, box, dialog box up in the screen, up towards the upper right hand screen. It says timber. Which says we need to punch down a tree to collect wood. So, uh, the world, so because I have played this before, the worlds are, looks like a random spawn. They are different. This one is really nice. This is a lot nicer than where I started out before. Um, I started out more on the desert beachy area, but, uh, so we need to, uh, knock some wood down here, first of all. So just like in Minecraft, you just hit... Uh, hold down the right left mouse button and it, t it hits it away. So I did learn that you you want to uh, kind of hit it all the way across and it'll actually bring down the tree. There. So this is going to fall down now and it explodes into these chunks of cardboard wood. Uh, cardboard wood. So I got that. Now it says... To collect your reward, you want to hit your J key, and you're going to go to Timber right there. So it has, whenever you finish quest, we're going to call them a quest, that's what they are, right? So you'll notice when you finish a, whenever you finish a quest, this is what you get, a star. So we'll collect our wood, we get as a reward 10 oak wood. You have several, several quests that are just taking you through the basics of the game. So now it's harvest a flax bush to collect some fiber. Let's collect some fiber, that's these. Flat, uh, fiber is in these tall looking blue blue topped ones here this is where you get your fibers this over here you do not get plant fibers out of uh, this is uh, what you want right here and it does use a lot of plant fibers I'm gonna just say so we get out of that uh, get some more reward is 10 fibers now we have to crap up Crap. We have to craft up a wooden hatchet. So we hit I. This is how we are. Your crafting is um, a wooden hammer. What did it say? What is it? Craft up a wooden hatchet. So we need to craft up, craft up this wooden hatchet. So you just hit craft. You can once again connect the dots if you do so desire, or you can just hit create. <laughs> <laughs> which is what I'm gonna do so that puts it automatically down into your hot bar I'm just going to uh, kind of situate my hot bar a little better we're gonna put this stuff in my inventory I like to keep my inventory pretty neat and clean uh, so and organized so then we hit our J key and we get some more oak wood which we'll, we'll be needing a lot of to build us a house 
All right, so now we have to eat a spirit, spring berry to reduce our hunger. So we don't have any of those. So those are in, I believe, these white blossomed ones. Ooh, lots of noises in this game. Hey, there's a deer over there. So we'll uh, come over here and uh, see if we, yeah, these are the star berries. Is that, oh, we want spring berries. That was star berries. Do we get spring berries out of this? Maybe? We got lots of deer around this area. It's pretty cool. The area that I first originally started out in. Um, there was bears. Although I do hear very loud footsteps. Okay, so we did get spring berries. So the, the pink plants have the uh, berries that can help you... He keep your hunger at bay, which your hunger bar is in the lower right hand screen, as you see there. Uh, it says I'm stuffed, so I have to wait. So we're gonna uh, wait. We are. We'll continue cutting some trees down. How about that? Let's use our new little axe here. Okay, so we can eat the spring berry, and that'll go to our quest reward thing here. We get some more spring berries to eat. Uh, so now we need to craft a wooden sword, so we'll come over here. It's pretty straightforward, just like Minecraft, just like Creativers wants you to create this. Uh, there we go. Let's, uh, move this out here. So we've got two different types of wood. Actually, we have oak wood and we have red wood. So that's something to note because you do get different recipes here that call for different woods, as you can see. This is all of your recipes. Now, I'm not sure if this is all of the recipes in the game or if you unlock more as you go. I, I, I'm not quite sure on that. We'll just have to find out. We'll keep uh, building and everything. For right now, we could make ourselves some armor, but I think I'm going to wait until I have... We're going to just keep doing the quest out of here, maybe. Let's see. Defeat a creature and eat its raw meat. So I have to kill something. Let's find ourselves a deer. There was a bunch around here, so let's let's go find ourselves a deer and uh, kill our first thing. Although I really do feel like I'd like to have some armor, maybe. You know what? Let's make ourselves some armor. I don't know if that if it'll pop it up when you finish if you finish it out of turn, but let's just craft ourselves this and this. Because this is going to give us just an added layer of protection, maybe. Uh, we don't have quite enough for the legs. Uh, we need some more fibers. So, um, actually, I need to equip this. You just drag this over to your little head and your little body. And then click this over here. There we go. Okay. Since there's a deer right here, let's go kill this deer. You want to keep hitting. Do not hold your mouse button down. I learned that right away. It uh, will not hit. <laughs> uh, you want to just keep clicking on the mouse button. Okay, now we have to eat this raw meat. Yum. It was delicious. I'm going to die now of poisoning. No. <laughs> you don't cook. From what I see, you don't cook anything just yet anyways. So we got five more meat. That's pretty cool and handy. So now we need to collect dirt with our hands. So we'll just come down here to this nice flat area and uh, let's just play in the dirt. Nothing like playing in the dirt, right? Okay, so we got ourselves some dirt. Wonderful. We got ourselves now a, a, a hoe or a, a shovel. Wow, I can't think of my words. So we're just going to keep this. We're going to move this stuff out. Oh, we got some coarse hide, but that's going to be, you can use that for something. Place a wooden foundation to start building. Okay, well, we are going to need some more wood for that. And for that, we are going to need our axe. Okay, so we have enough fiber. I think we can craft our legs. There we go. We're fully armored in our wood. Next one is Stone Squire. So we'll, there's all kinds of stuff. You can wear... Um, trinkets apparently you can make, uh, there's enchanting in this game, you can make a furnace. So they want us to make a, a wood, wooden foundation to start building. So you have wood square, wooden square foundation, which is got like stilts on them, or you can make a flat square double foundation. 
Um, I think I'm going to go with this just because I've already made this in my previous game and um, I haven't made this one yet. And I kind of like the idea of a solid foundation versus an open one maybe. So let's craft us up a couple of these. So this is what this is going to look like. You can turn it around, rotate it, and look at it. It's beautiful cardboard. It's a beautiful cardboard. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to need more than one. So I'm going to go around uh, chopping some trees down. The night is coming pretty darn quick. So we're going to have to get ourselves some, <laughs> some trees here, which is these. Oh, there's holes, just just like in Minecraft and Creative Verse. You gotta watch where you're going. Oh, he hit me. That little shit is aggressive. Deers are not your friend. They will attack. <laughs> that is some good good to know. <laughs> he didn't like me. Wow. I always thought Bambi was friendly. <laughs> All right, so we can uh, place these down. We need to find ourselves a flat area. I'm hungry. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't want no holes. There are goblins that can come out of them holes. I found that out. Maybe I'll insert some footage here from that. <gasps> well, isn't that wonderful? There's goblins in this game, guys. Oh, my God. There's goblins. All right, so we're going to place down our... Now, the the um, placing this is pretty weird. Uh, so you rote, rotate with the right mouse button. We'll put this down right here. You left click to place it. So what I learned was that things snap onto each other, kind of like Fallout 4, where you place down the foundation next to it, and it'll it will snap onto it. There's some dots that show up. Uh, you can't really see with this one, but uh, see it click on there. A dot also does show up. You can see the dots. We're going to click that, and we're going to click there. And then uh, we still have two more foundations. How big am I going to have this house? Uh, so here's our beautiful foundation. This is what the solid one looks like now the other one just is basically open on the bottoms here so now we need to place our walls it says well first of all let's collect our um prize which is some more we get some of the square foundation which maybe i'll use this as a deck that's what i could do uh so we'll get out of that and now it says place a wooden door let's place our door out front this way and like I said, it automatically, when I target down on the dot, it snaps it right to it. So we'll want it there. We'll collect our ward. We get a crate, which is your storage box, which is awesome. Now mine stone with pickaxe. But we're going we're gonna to finish building this, this house because I, I have to have a safe, safe haven here. So if I put my cursor up like this, this is, is not going to target onto anything. But if I go to the floor with it, these four dots appear. And it's saying that I could put it there. I can put it here. I can put it over here. Or I can put it here. We want it right here for now. Also to note, once you place it, there's, from what I found, I don't think you can take them down. I tried hitting it. Like if we, uh, let's empty our hands. If I, let's say I didn't like that, it does nothing. If I do this, it does nothing. So I don't know if it's like it's not permanent for right now. I don't know. I just haven't figured out how to take down walls. So I'm going to finish putting up these walls. We're going to put one there. And it can go pretty quick after this because uh, you're just basically connecting the dots. However, I'm going to need more wood because I need some more walls. What is this? This looks different. I have not seen this. It looks like maybe there's something here. Oh, I need a stronger pickaxe. I wonder if that's like copper. Is that how they do their copper? Let's come over to this mountain here. Can we uh, can we come over here and, and put a hole in here? I like the crafting system. It's fast. Very nice. Okay, let's go put these up first of all. Let's go up here and put these up. And uh, eight... Okay, so there's one, and there's one. Maybe I don't need all of these walls. Oh, I had an extra one. That's all right. 
That's all right. We'll put that away here. Can we make some ceilings? I'm probably going to need more. Probably going to need more. Uh, here's a ceiling. Oh, so you can make a pitched gable wall and you can make a wooden pitch ceiling. So these are kind of similar to uh, Conan. If you've played that game, um, you can make pitch stuff. But uh, I honestly think I'm going to make a square box for my first house. It's kind of mandatory for me on uh, starting brand new survival games. <laughs> Uh, just make a wood box. Uh, you can make a wood ramp. Let's see. What does this take? Fiber. Takes the same amount for a wood pitched ceiling versus a flat one. What does it take for a bed? What do, I don't know what. Can we type in bed? Okay. So, oh, we got bunk beds. So you have a simple bed, which is what they want us to make. We can make that actually. Let's make that. Or you can make a simple large bed. Place a simple bed. Maybe I'll make this large bed. A large bed where you will wake up after being defeated. Uh, a small bed where you wake. You know, this is a small area. I'm just going to make the small one. What does it take for large? It's one more light wolf pelt. Or you can do bunk beds. kind of like the idea of bunk beds, but I'm by myself, so we're just going to make this little one. Oh, isn't it cute? Actually, it's kind of cute. I like it. <laughs> Okay, so we need to place this down now. Let's put our bed over here in this corner. Oops. Do not use the mouse button to rotate things. I don't know why I'm so used to that. It's the right button. We'll just place our bed tight up against here. Maybe not so tight against the wall. There. Oh, it's so cute. Look at our little bed here. Isn't it cute? It's cute. I can't get in there, though, but that's fine. <laughs> so we can get that. We Oh, it gives us 20 oak wood. Nice. Let there be light. Place a wall torch. All right, let's do this. Let's place. Wait, is this a wall torch? No, I don't know if that's different. What's a wall torch? Let's type in torch and see how many different torches there is. Oh, there is different. Okay, it is different. I think this is a hand torch. A wall torch, a table torch, or floor torch, or a ceiling torch. <laughs> we are going to create this wall torch. Let's craft that. And again, I'm not messing with no connect the dot, guys. Um, yeah, we're just going to create this. Maybe in time. Maybe in time. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to place this down. We're going to put this on the inside. Right, press right quick to rotate item, but... That's the door. It won't let me put it right on the door frame. Let's put it there. Very nice. All right. I'm going to keep saying very nice. Oh, it gives us three more. That's pretty sweet. Let's let's put these torches down. Uh, smelt copper ore using a furnace. Well, first of all, we're going to put our little um, chest down. That's our storage. We're going to put it down. We're going to put it down right here at the edge of our bed. So in order to get rid of something, knock down a wall perhaps, whatever, you hit the delete key while you're targeted onto the item. Glad I figured that out. That I think it showed up right after I placed this item and I caught just the tail end of it. But anyway, we're going to open this. We're going to put some of our old stuff in here. We don't need to keep our inventory somewhat clean and clear. So if you hold down the shift key, I found out, no, you and right click, it throws the item, all of it in there. So we have a furnace and we have a forge. Okay, so what does this take? What do we need for this? We need a coarse hide, coarse hide, animal hide that can be tanned to create coarse leather. Oh, you get to tan things? I need a tanner. What is a clothing rack? Oh, tan raw head. So we need this as well. What do we have? We have, we can craft ourselves now this pickaxe. Which we'll put down here. And we can't craft that. We can make a wood scythe. I don't know what that's used for. Let's just do it. Maybe chopping grass? I don't, what is that used for? All right, so we have this better pickaxe. I want to come down here to this... Uh, this looks like this is probably copper right here. Yep, and I can get it too. So I got copper. I'm going to get ourselves some more of that. What is this? Oh. 
What is this? Oh, <gasps> what is this? What did I just get? I got emeralds, guys. Oh, what's this? <gasps> oh, I got diamond. Shit, that's how they do their diamond and emeralds and stuff. So they put their emeralds and all their precious gems out in the open by instead of in the ground like Minecraft or Creativeverse. It is, uh, we need some stairs, y'all. Uh, it is in above ground. It's just sitting there. Okay, well, that sort of works, right? Can we make a forge now? We can make a forge, guys. We're gonna make this forge. We're gonna we're gonna come in here and we're gonna put down our forge. We still have no roof on. Let's put this thing in the corner. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. So to use it, we're gonna click on this, and this is the furnace. All right. So it looks like your fuel is wood. Uh, so can we, what do we have our copper? That's dirt. Uh, copper? Yes. Put copper in there and we smelt. Can we smelt? Oh. We can only smelt as many wood pieces of wood. So we can only do three cop, make three, because we only have three. Um, smelt gives us ignite. All right. We got some, we have to pull those out. Yes. We'll pull these back out. All right, it's lovely. Let's let's see what we got for that. Um, we got four copper ignits. Yeah. Uh, so refine coarse hide using a clothing rack. I don't think we can make a clothing rack yet because we need the the pelts. Um, but let's build ourselves. Let's put this up here. Will it snap? Oh, can I rotate it? Yes. Oh. All right, we're going to uh, make another one of those. And then we're going to make ourselves another wall. Okay. Uh, so that. And can I put this up there? Yes. All right, so it's not quite it's not quite a square box, <laughs> um, but it, 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 it <laughs> it's pretty square. <laughs> Who am I fooling? There we go. All right, it's coming along. It's coming along. Look at this. Look at this. I need a pitched roof. There it is. It's not a block house, guys. My first house is not a block house. But <laughs> there is my beautiful house. I wish I had windows. I wish I could figure out how to make windows. Um, This is pretty cool, though. You can make, like, different wooden stairs and landings and shit. We're going to expand on this, though. I may end up moving. This is just, like, a starter base. So I might end up finding somewhere else. Maybe off camera. Oh, you can make stone. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make some of this stuff. We're gonna make ourselves a castle or something, man. Oh, look, there's lots of good stuff to make in this game. There it is. It's beautiful. Press delete to delete the item. Right? Okay. Uh, so there we have ourselves a portrait. Beautiful. <laughs> I need another one for over here. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. I like how this is. This is a really neat game, guys. I, I recommend this highly to get this. This is, this is really cool. Um, like I said, I like unique games that are a little bit different. This is definitely a cardboard feeling game, but yet a lot of fun. I'm having a ball with this. I hope you guys are too. We're hungry. We need to eat. But... Yeah, so if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. The more you guys like this this, this video, let me spit my words out. Um, the more you guys like these videos of this card life game, the more likely I am to continue making a series out of it. So make sure if you're subscribed to me to click that bell because that by clicking that bell, it'll notify you when I have a video go up. I am trying to increase 
my videos that I put up. I love and enjoy playing new games and making videos for you guys. So I am really excited about this game. This is this is a lot of fun. So, and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you do. I would love to have you guys. And don't forget, I also do stream, live stream quite a bit. Well, for me, quite a bit, three to four days a week over on Twitch. I would love to have you follow me over there. And if you haven't yet followed me on Twitter, I would love to have you follow me on Twitter. I do always tweet out whenever a video is about to go up or I'm about to live stream. I also tweet out other crazy things about what's going on in my life in case you guys want to know about that too or other things about video games related. Mostly video games related, guys. I'm pretty much a video game junkie. I love it. Anyways, that's enough rambling for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.